A local 15-year-old high school prodigy, prodigy who will be attending Princeton University in the fall was not allowed to walk at his high school graduation today, but for a good reason. And 10 News reporter Preston Phillips explains what's standing in his way and what he's going to have to do if he does want to walk. Maxim Zaslavsky is not your typical 15-year-old. My solution has always been, you know, spend as much time as possible doing the stuff that confuses me. In addition to playing piano, saxophone, and clarinet, he speaks English, Russian, and French fluently. He's also working on this device designed to help people with Lou Gehrig's disease, like Stephen Hawking's, better communicate. And to boot, Maxime will be attending Princeton University in the fall. It feels exciting. Uh, I think I've kind of outgrown my current school, um, and I love it there, and I think this is a great path forward. Maxime would have walked with the rest of his graduating class here at the Bishop's School Friday, but because he's foregoing his senior year and didn't take two required courses, the school says he has to make them up before he can walk. Maxime was honored with a special award, though. I think they gave me the head of school award. Ordinarily, people in my situation would uh, take these classes over the summer at my school. Unfortunately, I won't be here this summer, so I have to take them perhaps at Princeton next year. That's because Maxime will be in Thailand over the summer, working on a water salinity project on the Mekong River, then at Harvard, working on a project in a completely different area of study. Using uh, some simple math techniques to see if we can model social behaviors. Then it's off to Princeton to hopefully figure out what he wants to be when he grows up. I don't know what I want to do with my life yet. Preston Phillips, 10 News.